Did you ever think about a pumpkin cheesecake instead of a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving? If so, you're going to love this. Easy, simple, and foolproof. Enjoy. I found this recipe in my mom's batch of about 500, and here's one for pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving is an alternative to pumpkin pie. Nothing wrong with pumpkin pie, but pumpkin cheesecake would be a little different. So, the first thing we're going to do is we have to make a crust. Now, to make a crust, you start out with this honey-made graham cracker crumbs. So, we take one and three-fourth cups of graham cracker crumbs and put those in this bowl here. And then to that, we add one-third stick of melted butter. We mix that in. And then we put in one-fourth cup of sugar. And that all goes in and then we mix it up here and get it going really nice and good. And when we have it like that, and we've got it to a consistency that's just a little bit sticky, then we put it into one of these special pie tins made pretty much for cheesecake and tarts, but in this case cheesecake. And then we mash it all down and we get it around to the nice consistency that we like and bring it up about two and a half inches over the edge. Make sure that this clamp is down when you do that so that'll hold everything together. And when you're finished with this, I like to put it in the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes to give it just a little bit of time to set up. All right, here's the basic recipe for this wonderful cheesecake. We're gonna start here with two packages of room temp, very important, room temp, Philadelphia cream cheese. Nothing but Philadelphia works. Okay. And to that, we're going to add three quarters cup of sugar. So let's get some sugar in here. One quarter, two quarter, and three quarters. To that, Two nice room temp eggs. And to that, we're gonna add some spices here. One teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ginger, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and just a dash of salt. That goes in there. And then of course, the pumpkin. One can of pumpkin. I suppose you could do it from scratch, but you know, that's modern times. Mom always did it from scratch. So let's get all this pumpkin in here. So now let's just kind of start stirring it up a little. I'm gonna hit this with a little blender in a minute. Now we've got a little hand from Osher, one of my favorite cooking tools. We'll just took this baby on right here. You want to get this to a nice creamy texture, no lumps whatsoever. You cannot blend this together too much for a great cheesecake. And there we go, nice and creamy, no lumps. All right, so now we've got our pie crust that we made here. And let's just put the cheesecake in, all right? Oh, look at that stuff go in. Mm. All right, now let's get this in the oven. Remember, 350 degrees for 70 minutes. Uh, there we go. And let's wait. See you in 70 minutes. Let's take this thing out now, no. We're not going to take this out now. What we're going to do is we're going to open the oven door here, like about so, and let this set for another hour. This is going to let the cheesecake cool down very slowly. See you in an hour. All right, now let's take this. Oh, look at that. Woo, baby. Nice pumpkin cheesecake. It's cooled down. So next, we're gonna take a knife and we're just gradually gonna come around the edge of this and loosen that crust up a little bit. Let's put this puppy in the fridge and now we're gonna let it cool down for a minimum of six hours. Actually, overnight wouldn't be bad. 
here we are. This cheesecake has been in the fridge now for about 12 hours overnight. And let's take a look at it and be sure that we got it good. First thing we want to do is loosen this up there. And we carefully push this up through the bottom, like such, <laughs> and set it down. Man, take a look at this. Is this just great? Pumpkin cheesecake. And when we put a little special Mama Mabel's Boy bourbon flavored whipped cream on this, this is gonna bring it right to the top. Now for serving, I've just kind of slid this on to a little round cut. You can buy these in the store, you can cut them yourself. Pumpkin cheesecake, how good is this, huh? Something a little different. Pumpkin pie is great, but for Thanksgiving, why not kick it up a notch? How about some pumpkin cheesecake? All right, this is one of my favorite deals. It's an automatic whipped cream maker, and it's just cool. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And I put some heavy whipping cream in here, just a little bit of sugar, and, um, well, some Colorado 10 cup bourbon. I'd probably use Oklahoma bourbon, but I'm not sure if they make it there. Well, excuse me, I know they make it there. I'm just not sure if they make it there legally. Okay, so we've got that. I've got me a piece of cheesecake here. Here we go, look at this. Look at that. And let's just see how we did here. Oh. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving. Well, yum yum and adios. Remember, a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. And this is pretty much a happy kitchen. Happy Thanksgiving and bon appetite, partner. Mm hmm.